so I've got our exchange transmission sitting up here <clears throat> and yes I did exactly that I pulled it in with the bolts imagine that oh my god it's gonna go straight you know where and I'm gonna tell you guys something I hear that crap all the time about uh, not pulling the transmission in with the bolts that's the biggest crock that that you could possibly tell somebody the reason they say that uh, is when an apprentice puts in a transmission they don't want an apprentice to do it because they don't pay attention I mean that comes with experience later on I've been doing this crap for 35 years and I've done it the same way my whole entire life and I've yet to pinch a torque converter uh, it's easy when you're pulling it in stick your finger in there if the torque converter rolls it rolls I mean it's as simple as if this torque converter here rolls when you pull that transmission in it rolls I always check I always put my fingers in there and okay it's rolling it's rolling good so you know I you know I get tired of hearing it it's basically what it amounts to I get tired of hearing that crap and you hear it on YouTube all the time oh, yeah, I'll put a transmission in with a bolt whatever <laughs> like I said 35 years of doing it just exactly like that says somebody is full of it but anyway I stuck the transmission up there uh, I've got a couple of bolts started in it like I said uh, this thing here is actually ready to be be torqued up uh, we've got to put our torque converter bolts in it obviously uh, I'm gonna do that next I'm not gonna film that part of it uh, I use a little bit of blue Loctite uh, on those on those short bolts that's some short bolts you can't can't really mistake it I mean surely you pay attention when you're taking them out uh, these here I put a little bit of thread locker on it it doesn't matter what you use uh, you can use the pink the the blue it, it really doesn't matter just don't uh, don't mistake the uh, the pink with the uh, with the red uh, the red <laughs> the red will lock them in <laughs> make it good for the next guy <laughs> but yeah so don't mistake those two colors if you have pink that's fine if you have blue that's fine uh, I think we've got all of them here so I've got blue red pink uh, I've got the retaining compound which is green all made by Loctite so this is like the, the red is the high strength and then we got the retaining compound like I said, which is green. This is retaining compound. That's a green fluid. Um, I buy all of them. Um, here's some of the pink and the blue. I'm going to opt for the blue, and that was probably too fast for the camera to see, but uh, just uh, take my word for it. We're going to put blue on it, then put those torque converter bolts in. I'm going to pause the camera out for that. I don't feel like uh, that we need to record any of that you put a little bit on a rag and that uh, to me makes it a little bit easier I don't know about you folks you know I wipe it on the rag and and I end up end up with it like that so that's what I do no law do what you want to but anyway, like I said, it's a 19 up front, so you'll have to have your 19 on that one. Uh, since that uh, frame is out, it is really easy to do the uh, CV axles right now. I'll have to make sure that we get the... Uh, stabilizer bar I'll spit it out here in a minute stabilizer bar I mean we have to make sure that we uh, get that in right like I said that's got a wrap over the top of the steering rack since we've tied it up it's very important when we go up with that that I pay attention to that and not get that all messed up uh, I don't want to have to redo anything so uh, yeah in a nutshell that's that's about it we've got a couple of bolts there up top that uh, I hadn't torqued up on the bell housing I'm gonna link the torque converter bolts I'm gonna link the torque spec uh, 
Well, after the fact, I guess so. You'll know it when I link it. Clip the cover back on. And go ahead and see if we start it. CV axle in it. Seals seem to be all right in this transmission. I'm not going to worry about seals, tell you the truth. You got to watch your hoses and make sure that uh, it goes back where it, <laughs> where it came from. So that'd be the number one, the number one thing. Same thing. You want to be sure that yep, that start that, that started in the groove. We don't want to get too brutal with that. We'll tap 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 a little bit to. Uh, is in trouble again. Tapped it just a little bit. Now I'm not I'm not hitting it. Of course I go without saying. Uh, it fell right in place back in the dowel so good to go on that one. Uh, once again, pause that camera up, we'll put the bolts in the back. Let me show you what that looks like. I don't know if I did that earlier or not. So, i flip that screen around somewhat. So that's what that looks like. Uh, there's dowels up top. You gotta line those up. Just like I said, when you're pulling it out, you have to make sure that you get past these bolts, uh, uh, these dowels so you can slide your axle out. Uh, put bolts back in here, two on top, and that will, uh, get all that done and we'll hook the the other side up not going to film that same thing actually it's a little bit easier since we don't have a carrier bearing or some people refer to it as a torque bearing uh, but anyway I'm pause that camera up again all right so I think I left off on uh, the CB axles I do believe Oh, I keep getting interrupted, so in case uh, that transmission here, of course, it, it did get drained, so there shouldn't actually be anything in it, but uh, you know how that is. Should and is two different things, of course. 10 millimeter, of course, on the pan, like you mostly find. Well, I put a filter in the unit already. That's a Wix 58010. That is what's going to go in it. Let me grab a tool. filter in it.
remember, I look, I see, I see what the pan lip is doing and all that good stuff. That's the reason why a lot of the, uh, the old timers, you know, that's been doing this for a long time, why they don't use torque wrenches on, on trivial stuff like that. We use them uh, on critical components, obviously, all the time. Well, that's not a critical component. The big deal here is uh, not ripping the fastener out and not crushing the seal to the point where it breaks the seal. You know, that, that those, are, those are not critical fasteners, so a lot of times we just don't torque them. You know, everything has torque spec, but uh, uh, years of experience, we just don't do it. So uh, what I'm going to do right now is uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the lower, the, the lower frame back in. I'm not going to film that part. I mean, that's something you can figure out. Uh, i got to rearrange these jacks here and all that good stuff. So like I said, not going to film that. Uh, I don't think there's any need in it. I'll turn the camera back on when we get that done. And I'm back up, back up with it. All right, so uh, note the gap. I only start the bolts because right now is the perfect time to put your steering, bolt your steering rack up while you can still easily get to everything. I'm gonna reverse the bolts uh, because they're kind of a pain in the neck to get out uh, that away because they're hitting in the back. So I'm gonna put them that away. So that's a lot of. Okay, so I'm a little bit too uh, too low, so we'll pull up just a little bit. And I want to stress that knuckle up top. I got the one bolt in it. Obviously, it pivots on that side, but it will not over here because you got your... Uh, steering linkage over here. Oh, we'll stick them in there. I don't think I can get my hand in there somehow or another. No. Lift this out of the way here. There we go. There we go. There we go. Get our hand back here. Well, maybe I can all get my hand back there, so we'll just go ahead and use the wrench to hold it. And if we have to, we'll uh, put a little bit something on it. size 17 on the nut there's 19 in the front oopsie uh, regardless of what the size was uh, the, it's already started up so we'll make it make a heck of being a difference what the size was So that one
This one we won't be able to get like that. We'll have to switch to a ratchet. gentleman that contacted me from the great state of Mississippi he wanted me to give him a quote on his uh, F-150 cam phasers I am debating whether to make another video on it or not maybe y'all can let me know in the comment box whether you want to see another video of that or not. Before we do anything else, of course, I'm going to put my uh, bottom end back together right quick. Don't get forgotten, and then later on, we're gonna have to fight it. Put your bolt in first, then start the nut slider. Yeah, 17 or 19, can't remember. 17. All these fasteners uh, around the underside of the vehicle, of course, uh, something to consider if you are in the uh, upper states, put you some anises on that. Get, get accustomed to using anises when you live up there in the Rust Belt area. May, always makes it easier to get the crap back off later on. So. We'll go ahead and stick the castle nut back on there. I got to drill it out of the other side. We have to rip it off. One thing on this, I've seen comments 
about people, let me make sure you can see this, let me point to it, uh, like the boots on your ball joint, uh, where people want to uh, put a little grease in the boot underneath, shove it in there. Uh, that really doesn't do anything. The business end of it is really on the inside, where it's in the bushing. Uh, that's really the business end. The grease needs to be in, on the inside, not on the, on the bottom of the boot. So that really is not going to do anything for you. Just thought I'd add that in there. See if we can use a punch, get that out of there. If not, we'll have to run a little bit of a drill. Now that one was completely rusted in there, so that's why I had to break it. Consult my Wookie here for just a second. Something else, these here, they're on a taper lock. This don't have to be torqued down like crazy person. You know, uh, well, you can't see nothing, can you? Yeah, you can. So that don't have to be torqued down like crazy person. Like I said, they're on a taper, so uh, these taper pins, they're gonna lock in there, and that's all, all she needs. See if I find some cutter keys that fit it. Yeah, put them cutter keys in, leave a little tail for the next guy, he'll appreciate you. What I mean by that, don't mangle them over. Push the one, the one end, push it up slightly. It can't go nowhere, the other end. Fold it on the bottom. Fold it on the bottom like so. Good enough. Not going anywhere. Uh, of course, we still got our uh, brackets to bolt back up. Uh, we talked about that. It had a, had a nut and a bolt on each one of them. We got to pull the engine cradle up. That's about that time now. And I'm going to put uh, my sway bar link back together on the top. And I'm going to turn the camera off for that one. I don't think there's any need to film and all that. 